Welcome to the 2022 Varsity Brand School Spirit Award Show. I'm Richard Curtis. And I'm Nicole Lachair. It's such an honor to be back co-hosting an event that celebrates the standouts across our country's high schools. As an educator, I can say firsthand that our schools are so much more than just classrooms. They offer students a place to grow, explore, and be themselves. These schools we honor today put students first with a culture built around that family mindset that's so important. And Richard, on behalf of everyone at Varsity Brands, we appreciate educators like you. We're passionate about school spirit and how it can transform America's schools. The Varsity Brands School Spirit Awards program was designed to recognize and honor the most spirited schools in the country. And now I'm proud to introduce our CEO of Varsity Brands, Adam Blumenfeld. After two years of uncertainty and separation, the team at Varsity Brands is thrilled to see the power of spirit reemerge once again on campus. And in doing so, help transform school culture in classrooms, athletic events, and auditoriums nationwide. The Varsity Brands School Spirit Awards represents our unique opportunity to celebrate demonstrations of spirit across the country and recognize the positive impact it can have on schools and student performance. We here at BSN Sports, Varsity Spirit and Herf Jones are honored to reestablish the event this year and spearhead the celebration of America's educators and youth. Thanks, Adam. I know all of us at Varsity Brands are incredibly excited that this program is back. So is every student, teacher, and administrator from across the country. That's right. School spirit is so important. In fact, a study conducted by Varsity Brands has shown that there's a powerful link between school spirit, involvement, achievement, and self-confidence. Students with higher levels of spirit perform better academically. They're more involved and they feel happier and more connected to their school and community. So during this program today, Varsity Brands will be awarding $60,000 across 12 categories. How cool is that? That's $3,000 for each winner and $25,000 for America's most spirited high school. Each year since 2015, Varsity Brands has searched for America's most spirited high school, our grand prize. Schools submitted videos demonstrating why their school has the most spirit in America, a recommendation letter, and an essay explaining their spirit story. Congratulations to the 17 finalists from across the nation. These finalists were narrowed down to four of the top schools by our judging panel and videos were then posted online, giving viewers the opportunity to vote for their favorite. It's time to meet our first America's Most Spirited High School finalist, Gaffney High School from Gaffney, South Carolina. School spirit flows through the halls of Gaffney High School with events like homecoming, pep rallies, bonfires, spirit weeks, and college and academic signing days. It all starts in elementary schools at a young age and follows students throughout their life after high school. Many return to Gaffney to give back to the community that gave them so much. There are three additional finalists in the America's Most Spirited High School category, and we'll meet them later. Now, let's get started. It's time for award announcements. All right, I know everybody's excited, so we're gonna start with the outstanding achievement in the yearbook category. The most memorable school yearbooks have a theme that sets it apart from other school years, a theme that captures the specific spirit and personality of that group of students. The winner of our yearbook category celebrates achievements large and small, group and individual contributions to the school and the impact the school has on the community. And the winner of the 2022 yearbook award is Winchester Community High School from Winchester, Indiana. In March of 2020, the Golden Era yearbook staff found themselves scrambling for a new focus on a book already well underway. The staff pivoted quickly due to the pandemic and forged ahead, conducting phone interviews, searching social media for photos, and capturing online learning through student photo submissions. At Winchester, school spirit revolves around chasing success, rising above, and working relentlessly toward victory. The Golden Era Yearbook staff did just that. Moving on to performing arts. Students involved in performing arts programs bring talent, innovation, and dedication to school events. 
This program eagerly takes on the responsibility of providing weekly entertainment to school fans and community members in the form of groups like pep band, color guard, choir, jazz band, concert band, marching band, and the orchestra. And the winner of the 2022 Performing Arts Award goes to Northwest High School from Jackson, Michigan. The Marching Mounties of Northwest High School create the best home field advantage. They are a constant presence at rallies, parades, assemblies, and within the community. The Marching Mounties hat, the leather belt, gauntlets, and distinct red jacket are iconic in the Jackson community. Constantly chanting, cheering, and playing, the band coordinates with the cheerleaders to lead the student section in creating an atmosphere where everyone is cheering the players on to victory. The next category is one Richard knows a little something about, the Teacher Award. Listen, I've read all of their bios and I know when I'm being outclassed, these are the best <laughs> of the best from all around the country. What, a, what an honor it is to present this award here today. That's right, and this person understands that achievement means more than a number in a grade book. It means helping students discover their strengths, passions, and confidence. Students feel this teacher cares about them both academically and personally. This teacher has a genuine love and loyalty for his or her school and supports it in every way possible. And the winner of the 2022 Teacher Award is Karen Denton from Gaffney High School, Gaffney, South Carolina. On any given day, Karen can be found in the media center surrounded by students while she tutors in math or science with chemistry as her specialty. Her patience, techniques, and way of making even the toughest problems for a student understandable is astonishing. Her love, loyalty, and spirit compelled her to return years later to her alma mater to inspire others. According to fellow teachers, everything Karen touches turns into Gaffney Gold. I love that line. So here we are today accepting her award. It's Karen Denton. My goodness. I can, thank you. I cannot believe this. I, um, I'm truly honored to be named America's most spirited teacher. While I'm a proud alumni of Gaffney High School class of 1994, the spirit I have for my school and for education comes from the interactions I'm blessed to experience every day with our students and our colleagues. I love to participate in the life of my school from lighthearted student versus faculty volleyball games to competitive and sometimes cutthroat <laughs> district faculty <laughs> kickball softball competitions <laughs> and off the wall costumes for spirit weeks that make everyone want to join the fun. School spirit is vital in our schools because it, all, it welcomes all of our students to participate and provides a way for everyone to express their talents and interests. It is up to me to celebrate each contribution, and I do so with an infectious and self-admitted loud laugh and a heart <laughs> overflowing with love for our students and teachers. So I thank y'all so much. Well, you deserve every ounce of this accolade. It's one thing for you to say that the students need to jump in and participate, but it's another, and this is exactly why you're the winner here, that teachers need to be the lifeblood and they need to lead the way. And that's exactly what you have done and the reason that you're walking away the big winner this year. So congratulations. I hope this feels excellent because you look like you're overwhelmed with the smile on your face. And I think we want to hear that big laugh one time. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> that my coworkers are sitting here with me. So they, I get told all the time I'm heard out in the hallways, upstairs, everywhere. So That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. That has been the best laugh I've heard in weeks. It is. Congratulations, Karen. Now it's time to meet our second America's Most Spirited High School finalist, Olin Tangi Berlin High School from Delaware, Ohio. The spirit story of Olentangy Berlin is not one with deep history, but one rich with new and meaningful traditions. Built in 2018, culture was intertwined in the bones of the building. Over 60 student-run clubs offer the opportunity for students to forge their own link in the school and community. Being a Berlin Bear means standing shoulder to shoulder, wearing the double blue, and singing the alma mater as the marching band plays with love and praise for all our days. Forever Berlin Pride. Berlin Pride! It's forever! 
Our next category is the Student Award. This person has a deep and genuine love for his or her school and is driven, kind, and well-rounded. They care deeply about representing the school in the best possible light. This person consistently attends school events and displays the utmost sportsmanship, inclusiveness, and school pride. And the winner of the 2022 Student Award is Paige Reed from Erskine Academy, South China, Maine. Erskine Academy is built on its core values of scholarship, leadership, stewardship, and relationships. Paige Reed takes relationships to the next level though. Always the optimist, Paige treats others as equals and invites them into her circle. And once inside that circle, you have a friend for life. Paige recently fell out of a 12 year remission from leukemia but the school continues to rally around a full recovery because they all agree Erskine Academy is only complete with Paige Reed. Accepting the award for Paige Reed are cheer coaches Amy Rao and Julie Wing and homeroom advisor Sharon McDonald. How are we doing, guys? Good, doing great. <laughs> Congratulations on such a monumental award. Just talk about Paige for us, please. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if Paige was here, she would just be so excited. Um, she would be doing cartwheels, her, her very own form of a cartwheel. Yep. Um, she'd be inviting you all to dinner. Um, <laughs> singing and, a song, maybe. Yeah. About how much she song. loves you. <laughs> yes. Um, Paige is just, school is everything to Paige. Erskine Academy is her love. And... Um, she this can't. Is, she can't be with us because she is currently in the Boston Children's Museum. Uh, sorry, in the in the hospital down in Boston because she's had some complications. But they, Julie just skyped with her last week, and yes. she's still she's still giving uh, everybody I the "I love you" sign, <laughs> even though she can't talk. So yeah, we're thrilled. She's there. Isn't anybody that uh, would receive more praise from? our student body and our teachers for having school spirit as much as Paige. She just, she loves Erskine. She loves the people here. And um, I think probably she's been the best cheerleader we've had in many years. Yep. This is, this is what, this is where she's at. We miss her. <laughs> Wish she could be here to accept this. She's so lucky to have you three in her lives. Absolutely. So as me and Nicole kind of fire these up, I think we should give them up as well. Just from an I love you on this stage, all the way back to you guys and all the way over to Boston where Paige is. This is such a deserved honor. Uh, to, congratulations to her and Paige, we're thinking about you. We love you and I hope you're, uh, you're watching right now. But congratulations to you guys as well. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so very much. Moving on to game day experience. There are many moving parts that make high school game day a successful celebration of school pride. Game day should incorporate athletic teams, the student body, cheerleaders, dancers, mascots, and the marching band, making it a true experience fans won't want to miss. And the winner of the 2022 Game Day Experience Award is Dover High School from Dover, Ohio. Those involved in the game day experience at Dover know it takes ownership and involvement from everyone. Players, students, band members, and cheerleaders all work together and the energy is unmatched. Dover encourages participation from elementary and middle schools. And as those students enter high school, they remain involved and vow to pay it forward by continuing to honor the rich traditions of Dover. To help us present this next award, please welcome a very special guest from St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Senior Vice President of Development, Steel Ford. Welcome in, Steel. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much, Richard. Hey, Nicole. I'm so honored to be presenting this award. Uh, the Spirit of St. Jude Award is a celebration of those who are dedicated to ending childhood cancer. You know, families never receive a bill from St. Jude, not for treatment, travel, housing, or food. And we really applaud all the students in schools across the country who are creating fun, innovative ways to raise funds and awareness for St. Jude. We really thank all of you for your support. But I get to announce the winner. And now 
I'm proud to say the winner of the 2022 Spirit of St. Jude Award is Woodstock High School from Woodstock, Georgia. Woodstock High School developed their Spirit of St. Jude fundraiser six years ago. Each year when they play their rival, Etowah, the schools work together to raise money for St. Jude. During the football game, a check is presented to St. Jude with the total amount fundraised by both schools combined. It's not just about winning a football game. It's about coming together to recognize something larger than any school community. It's about making this world a better place and a goal that no child dies in the dawn of life. Their current total raised is over $45,000. That's a, I feel like that's a, an absolute applause right there. Well done by everybody at that school. Steele, it has to feel so good to have so many people supporting St. Jude. It's wonderful. I love to see these schools get involved. It's really uh, heartwarming for us to see kids helping other kids, and, and we're so grateful. Well, congratulations to Woodstock High School. What an incredible example of camaraderie working together for the greater good here. That's right, and St. Jude has been an incredible corporate partner with Varsity Brands since 2011. We originally started with a letter writing campaign at summer camps, expanded to St. Jude Game Day, and now a Varsity Brands employee giving program, an annual participation in walks, runs, and marathons across the country. We're thrilled with the work we've been able to do together to put an end to childhood cancer. Yeah, I mean, Nicole, you know how much we love our partnership with Varsity Brands. I've said this before, we have so much in common. Both of our organizations are about hope and determination and service to others. And you've raised an astounding $11.5 million for St. Jude. Wow. We're so grateful for the entire Varsity family. Really, you helped to introduce St. Jude to the next generation. Smart, committed, compassionate people who are gonna power our mission far into the future. Steele, thank you so much for helping us shine a light on this school and its amazing contribution. Just an unbelievable day here. It's my pleasure, thank you both. Let's move on to our next award. The driving force behind a spirited athlete is the coach, our next award. And this coach has a long standing history of success, recognizing the link between athletic involvement and student achievement. Sportsmanship is prioritized both on and off the playing field in this coach's playbook. And here we go. The winner of the 2022 Coach Award is Dawn Thal, Strongsville High School, Strongsville, Ohio. Coach Thal knows the strategies of basketball on track, but what makes her so special is her connection to student athletes. She serves as a special education aide at the high school and has personally and anonymously paid the entry fees for countless kids who she knew would not be able to participate on teams due to financial concerns. Coach Thal has also helped transform students who were on the verge of dropping out by encouraging them to play multiple sports, which in turn has helped change the trajectory of their lives. She is the definition of commitment, loyalty, and devotion. Congratulations, Coach Thal. Coach, we need you to stop crying because you're <laughs> gonna make us cry out here. This is unbelievable. We are so happy for you. Thank you. Um, I am so very humbled and just absolutely grateful right now at this moment. Um, I wanna thank Varsity Brand. This is so absolutely what an honor. I am absolutely humbled right now. Um, I wanna thank my AD, Denny Ziegler, who is, such a dear friend and he's the greatest athletic director who is um, very supportive of me and our entire school and our athletes and makes our school better. Um, and for Dan Martin and for both of those people who nominated me um, for this award in the kind words they spoke on my behalf. Um, it has been a blessing to coach um, student athletes. Um, it's something that I love to do it each and every day. And you don't know their story until you get to know each and every one of them. And that's what I take pride in. And that's what I've done from day one. Um, I live each and every day to make them 
not just a better athlete, but hopefully make them better human beings. So um, I hope every coach can take words just to get to know your athletes. And um, I am so very grateful for this incredible honor. Um, it is something that I will, I'm sorry, I will cherish for the rest of my life. And it'll be a constant reminder of why I do what it, why I do what I do every single day and why I am with these athletes every single day. So thank you very much for this. Are you kidding me? We're so happy for you to be here, but I'm just so happy those student athletes have a true leader that they can call coach. So congratulations to you again. You deserve every inch of this. Thank you so much. I am so very appreciative. You have no idea. It's been a great show so far, and now it's time to meet our third America's most spirited high school finalist, Pocomoke High School from Pocomoke, Maryland. Boasting a total of 321 students, Pocomoke is a rural school on Maryland's eastern shore. Each sports team, academic group, and extracurricular club, big or small, equally adds to the fabric of the school. Held together by tradition, which drives teams to playoffs, fine arts to championships, and academic clubs to victories, tradition never graduates at Pocomoke. And where would a school like Pocomoke be without a principal to lead the charge there? A principal understands the essential link between school spirit and student achievement and supports academics and athletics. The principal is personable, active in school activities, encouraging to students and faculty, and innovative in his or her approach to education and engagement. Okay, here we go. The winner of the 2022 Principal Award is Jason St. Pierre from Walker High School from Walker, Louisiana. Principal St. Pierre's goal has gone far beyond preparing students for college or the workforce. He has engaged community leaders to provide real world learning opportunities for his students. Experiences include banking, automotive, real estate, media production, culinary arts, robotics, welding, and more. Almost all of these programs are sponsored by Walker area businesses that in some cases hire Walker students during or, or after their academic careers. The local community's support of Walker High under St. Pierre's leadership perfectly embodies what defines a great leader in education. Congratulations, Principal St. Pierre. Thank you very much. Uh, it's exciting and uh, you know, we want to provide a great opportunity for our students and uh, I'm excited that this is being recognized, our school is being recognized and uh, uh, under my leadership and uh, I'm just thankful for the opportunity you guys have given us to showcase our school. What is it that makes Walker so special under your leadership? Well, we're, we do things for all students, regardless of what path they take. If they go the college route, we service them. And if we, they go the, the career route, we service them as well. So students, depending on the state that you're in, uh, under 50% of the students earn a college degree. And we need to have a skilled workforce that we can train students in high school where they can experience a myriad of vocations and pick what they like to do. So one of the things that we uh, really focus on is students who go to college, they change their major two, three, four, five times because they haven't experienced the job they're doing. And once they get in it, they, they, they're not satisfied or they don't like it. So we're trying to create that atmosphere in high school to make them uh, have an educated decision on what they want to do once they leave high school. You're innovative with your leadership and that's exactly why you're grabbing this award here today. Congratulations and enjoy it for everyone back at your school. Well, thank you so much. And it's an honor to represent Varsity Brands uh, and also to share what Walker High is doing across the country and around the world. We're doing some innovative things and we can't do it without great partners and sponsors like Varsity Brands. So thank you. And we're gonna share this with all the Walker community, this great award that you've bestowed upon me. Thank you. The athletic director supports all school teams enthusiastically and equally, regardless of success level. The athletic director encourages athletes to excel on the playing field and in that classroom. And the winner of the 2022 award for athletic director is Dr. John Taylor, Irvington High School, Irvington, New Jersey. 
To increase school spirit at Irvington High School, Dr. John Taylor put together a plan to encourage athletes of all different sports to interact and support each other. Dr. Taylor believes if groups of students are motivated to demonstrate their passion and love for their school, teams, and peers, the community will witness amazing things from these students. And congratulations on your award, Dr. Taylor. It sounds like you've created something very special for your student athletes. Um, yeah, first I'd like to thank Varsity Brands for this tremendous recognition. I've been an athletic director for 15 years now, and I've come to understand there are very many talented individuals who hold this role at various schools. And I'm really honored and humbled to be recognized with this honor. I will tell you this, I truly believe that Irvington High School, our students, our coaches, our community members, our alumni, we take a back seat to absolutely nobody. We have an enormous amount of passion for our sports, for our athletes, and I have coaches who are the hardest working, most generous people that you can imagine. And they support my vision in creating the best possible athletic environment for our school, for our students full of sportsmanship, full of cheering each other on. You wouldn't know the difference between a basketball player or a baseball player in the football stands on Friday nights cheering on their team. We're really united as a community, and I can't tell you the level of support that we have for one another to be successful. Well, congratulations again, Dr. Taylor. This is huge for you. It's huge for Irvington, and I hope you guys uh, really celebrate this. We will. We will. Thank you guys so much. Again, I'm honored. Next up, the athlete category. These finalists exemplify sportsmanship, leadership, and teamwork. They are considered the glue of the team and they help maintain morale no matter the circumstance. This individual has as many team building skills as athletic skills. He or she knows how to motivate, inspire, and encourage teammates to work together, push harder, and achieve the utmost success. And the winner of the 2022 Athlete Award is Ronald Christian from Rutland High School, Macon, Georgia. Whether on the field, court, or in the classroom, Ronald has proven that he exemplifies sportsmanship, leadership, teamwork, and humility. While Ronald is committed to football, basketball, soccer, and the math club, he also finds time to help set up and break down special activities for school events, and even helps the drama club move large set pieces. Ronald Christian is willing to lend a helping hand to everyone he meets. Congratulations, Ronald. You've earned this moment. Enjoy every second of it. Our next category is graduation, powered by Stage Clip. This award recognizes a school that puts tremendous thought and effort into their annual graduation ceremony. It celebrates the achievements of graduating seniors and inspires successes in the rest of the student body. Students will remember this ceremony for the rest of their lives. And the 2022 graduation award winner is Carolina High School from Greenville, South Carolina. Here's a closer look at Carolina High School's unique approach to graduation. Kids today go through a lot. There's kids every day that make the decision to drop out of school. And anything we can do to motivate them to stay and continue and finish, we need to do. We are about to celebrate the students who are doing whatever it takes to graduate and stay on track as of this moment today. We invite family members, parents, guardians, siblings into the building and we go celebrate each child individually. When you take the gown to the classroom, take it out of the package, walk into the room and scream, you are eligible to graduate and put it on them and give them a hug, okay? Yeah. We have a student committee that designs the cap and gown and no one else knows what it looks like besides those members of the committee and of course select people from Herf Jones who is our partner. I, I don't know of any other school that does this. And what we ask the graduation committee every year is to design a cap and gown that represents the personality of your graduating class. So every year it's unique. 
Do you want to see what it looks like? Yeah. yeah? So this is the first viewing of the 2022 cap and gown. With last names on the back. One of the things that our students really love is they get their last names on the gown. Again, it's that individualized celebration, even though it's a class as a whole. You all ready? All right, Miss Pridgen, I need some music, and I need it loud and proud. We ready? Miss Oop, you are eligible to graduate! Pride is my favorite day of the year because the emotions that you see of pride, the tears of joy, it's, it's just a phenomenal experience. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, man. Great job. Great job. Um, my first year as principal, I found out that we had a couple students that didn't walk the stage because they couldn't afford a cap and gown. And I said, that will never happen again. So ever since then, we have found a way to pay for the caps and gowns because no child should ever miss out on that piece, that opportunity in life, because of money. We got passion right here. We got purpose right here. The first day of the year when seniors come to school, one of the things I do is I have them sign the robe that I'm going to wear at graduation as a commitment to me and the school that they're gonna do whatever it takes to graduate. And it's just become something that to me is very meaningful. And then every year I take the gown that I wore and I hang it in the hallway as a reminder of each class that we've done this with. But the other part is for all the underclassmen, those ninth, 10th, and 11th graders are sitting in classrooms saying, I want that in four years. I want that in two years. I can't wait for my turn. And that's what it's all about. And it's just a way to make sure that kids are seen and that they're celebrated for who they are. Richard, Principal Delaney's commitment to those students is truly an inspiration. Yeah, you're not kidding. I mean, throughout that entire feature, it was great to see not only the school, but what he's doing, and then bringing in the families to cloak their seniors for that graduation ceremony. It's just that little extra piece, right, that makes that family atmosphere that buildings need to be successful. So congratulations to everyone that's involved. That's right, and on behalf of Herf Jones and their commitment to elevating the student experience, honoring recognition and celebrating achievement, every graduate of Carolina High School's class of 2022 will receive their very own personalized stage clip digital keepsake. That's incredible, nice little add-on piece there. And now it's time to meet our last America's most spirited high school finalist. Here's Southeast Career Technical Academy from Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's go. Students are drawn to the career and technical education programs at this school and choose to become part of the Southeast Tech Roadrunner family. Athletics are also offered as part of the experience. The staff works to prepare every student for a successful life in the career and college world by helping them transform into sophisticated and educated contributors. Before we announce the grand prize winner for America's Most Spirited High School, let's take a look at this year's finalists one last time. And here they are, Gaffney High School, Olentangy Berlin High School, Pocomoke High School, and Southeast Career Technical Academy. We've been waiting all show to give away our grand prize, and here we go, the moment is officially right now. The winner, of the 2022 America's Most Spirited High School and $25,000 is Olentangy Berlin High School from Delaware, Ohio. 
Hey, congratulations. We have Principal Todd Spinner here on the line. Congratulations. How you feeling, buddy? Boy, that is awesome. Uh, on behalf of the entire Old Tangier Berlin High School community, thank you so much. You know, we say claws up. Uh, we're at 3140 Berlin Station Road, and everybody knows that address because we're a family and that's our home. We do things shoulder to shoulder. But what I really want to say is this award speaks to all of us, the entire community. We've built things on a disciplined, positive culture and climate. And without varsity brands uh, behind us, we wouldn't be where we are right now. But we believe in each other. We do things shoulder to shoulder. We always have that claws up spirit. And I'll tell you right now, on behalf of the entire Double Blue Nation, Berlin Pride, it's forever. Thank you so much. We're so excited. <laughs> hey, claws up right here from in Always studio. Always claws up. Claws up. Congratulations, Congratulations to you and everybody back Thank at your you school. Thank you so much. Enjoy every moment of this, and we're so happy to have you here today. Congratulations. Varsity Brands, thank you very, very much. We appreciate you. Congratulations to Olin Tangi Berlin for winning the most spirited high school and to all of our finalists that made it here today. I hope you're inspired, energized, and ready to plan a fantastic 22-23 school year. If we can help support your school in any way, please let us know. And mark your calendars, guys, because National School Spirit Day is September 16th, 2022, and we want to see you guys going huge for that. From everyone here at Varsity Brands, congratulations again. We'll see you next year.